Hello everyone, this is Oakstaff Cooker and I'm here playing Pixel Gun Tower Defense. And I'm going to show off my setup in the game. Now, in this game, you play with guns from the popular mobile shooting game, Pixel Gun 3D. I'm currently ranked 7. And today, I've actually had some luck as I've managed to get, get a few new recruits to my new, my new group on Roblox called Dome Tower Defense. Now keep in mind that is a working title and we're still working on the beta for the game, but me and Fast Ride 2 are going to be making a game for that group and hopefully we will be able to bring you quality content and hopefully you'll be able to give us some quality ideas for said content. If you want to join the group and help us build the game, feel free to, but you will need to send us a message. A message. And be careful of what, of what aspect you're working on. Anyway, let's get into the game. First, I'll show you my loadout. These are all currently the weapons I have unlocked. The ones that say unequip are the ones I have unlocked. The exterminator, the flamethrower, I mean equipped. The shotgun, the tactical nut rifle, the sword, and a grenade launcher. Let's switch that out, shall we? Ah. You also get to buy characters, and each one has a specific ability. Noob and Spammer you get free. The Noob has an extremely high fire rate with certain weapons, and can detect camo. Spammer can increase ammo into the hundreds with certain weapons, increase their damage, and also... Well, actually that's pretty much it. The Lag Switcher. Once you upgrade his lag switching ability to the max, he'll be able to quickly spam fire any weapon you give him. And my recent my recent acquisition, the streamer. Give him a weapon and any fan that he spawns will have it. And depending on the fan's level, their power, and how many you can have active at once, you can have an entire army if you set down the maximum amount of them. But keep in mind, there is a limit for weapon and gadget combinations active on any one map. Next, there's also the gadgets. I only have one gadget and that's the med kit. With the med kit, you'd be able to unlock, unstun any monster, any towers you have that have been stunned by the heavy enemies. Hold on a minute. <laughs> All right, there we go. Yeah, wonder if Ninja is still active. Oh, by the way, there are three, six, nine, twelve, almost fifteen maps you can choose from. And if you manage to beat them in both in both the easy and medium difficulty, you can get fifteen dollars every single day. Or, and I don't know if they have this bugged out, bugged or not. Know if this is bugged or not, but every time you log into the game. Anyway. I'm currently trying to rank up so I can play Veteran. That's the hardest difficulty in this game. 
so far. And I have three maps still to finish. Magical Valley, Sky Island, and Dead End Road. And I think I know a certain tower that can help us with Dead End Road. Ooh, and it looks like... And it looks like Sonic at... S oh, come on! Now I'm currently playing this on PlayStation, as Roblox can be played on on PlayStation, mobile devices, computer, and VR, apparently. And here are his upgrades. Max spawns allows you to increase how many um, how many fans spawn. The ally strength, which increases their their ability to use the we weapon given, as well as their health. Health. I have not been able to max it out yet. Oh, apparently there's also a new update to Foam Stars. And finally, Spawn Countdown. I don't think I need to in need to explain this one, as most, most if not all, most if not all tower defense games on Roblox these days have a tower that can spawn one or multiple types of allies for you to help help fight the mobs. Oh, it's way four, and those fans are already keeping the zombies at bay and earning me a lot of cheap chain, chump chain, too. Unfortunately, there's no way to speed up the fans, which is unfortunate. Oh, and by the way, the zombies can kill them, kill them if they get close. And I am currently working with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine equip slots. I won't get the tenth one until level thirty.
Now, both of the attack speed and damage upgrades for the top path of both the spammer and noob say the cyborg. Practically gives them the same hair, too. Now there's actually a reason I wanted to swap out the grenade launcher for the Armageddon rocket launcher. Just so I can do this. Well, once I get enough money, then I'll do it, but... Until then. Now the weapon, that particular weapon, is the assault, is the tactical rifle. Uh, I wish I could remember which rank it was for. Weird. My fans seem to be take, taking out the stealth enemies just like the armored vehicles do in TDX, which Ninja said that he played and even offered to help me grind up some cash. And it's showtime! Make the fans come in quicker. With, an, with a little explosive present. Since I upgraded the first, first streamer's fans to level 2, they're now holding off the zombies better than ever before. Ooh, and it looks like they're actually the rocket new the rocket fan is actually firing now. Good. They, along with the three three S tactical rifle troops will be able to help me hold off the horde so long as they're still on track. A tip I have to grind up some cash for this game would be to, uh, well, for one, Try to get the streamer as quickly as possible. And two, make sure you play on recruit. If you can, get some friends and put on put on either the impossible or bullet sponge modifier to double your rewards.
right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, by the way, the rock enemies, though not numerous, will drop a golden nugget that will give you a boot, a cash boost, if and when you need it. Oh, and I should mention, there's also three super weapons available. One of which has, has rather caught my eye. Not only to take the idea for my own game, although I will change it up a little bit, but to help me in the game, in this game. It's called the Siege Minigun. Closer. Yeah, that combination might not be a good idea. So let's go with this one instead. Stop them, my legions! Stop them! All right, let's decrease it, increase our strength. What you are witnessing, ladies and gentlemen, is a one-man army. Which is actually four men spawning... Uh, four... Two... Two... Three... Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Spawning eleven men. <laughs> I really hope this tower doesn't get nerfed because of me. <laughs> oh, it looks like we're finally on the final wave. That should help the troops if any any of the any of the minions cross the halfway point on the bridge. Oh, for, okay, maybe not the halfway point. After this match, I'll go back to the lobby. I'll show off the Sage minigun. And you do get a regular minigun at some point. I don't know when, though.
Now I can finally see pay to win noobs. That pay to win troop doesn't look any different. It just looks like it has metal, metal on it. Metal armor. And yes, I know they're called fans, but I prefer troops. They're practically like a volunteer militia. And since the fight's over, the only thing they're doing now is parading towards the entrance. And we have... $130, 125 XP. Ooh, plus a bonus for first time clearing, which brings my total up to 260. And it looks like I've got one more recruit mode trophy. And this is what happens when you beat a meet a, meet a map on any difficulty first time. You get three hundred dollars for clearing and a seven dollar daily in daily earning, which you can put towards a new rank, the super weapons, units, or gadgets. I wonder why no, no one actually uses the, the nuke, anyway. Uh, I've seen a lot of people use the turret pump. And like the fans, it gets deployed on the track. However, it does not last long. It only has 150 health, does 303.95 points of damage, has one, one level of camo detection, has 70 range, so it can attack from far enough to keep itself safe. 80 second cooldown. It lasts only for 20 seconds and has a 0 0.125 second higher rate. Oh, damn it. I said I was going to show off the siege mini minigun before showing you my group. The siege minigun. Minigun that wrecks havoc even when reloading. 100 ammo, 10 damage, 200 explosive, explosion damage, 80 range, 250 cost increase, 750 use cost, usage cost, 0 0.08 fire rate, 4.4 seconds reload time, and 0 0.02 reload fire seconds of reload fire rate. <laughs> I guess that's what it means by wreaks havoc even when reloading. Currently, I need 5914.5 do more dollars before I can buy a siege weapon. I mean, a super weapon. Oh, and by the way, Pixelgon 3D is coming to the PC on April 2nd. So, I hope to see everyone there. Just like I hope I can get something I can... I can plug into my computer so I can connect my PS5 controller to it. But anyway... We'll come back to the game in a moment. Oh, God damn it. Damn it, I wanted to show you my... my group. Thank you. 
Damn it. And of course, my brother Firewood, I mean Fast Ride, is playing Phantom Forces. But while he's screaming and cursing his head off, I'm here actually working, working my mind and fingers to the bone, trying to level up in this game. Oh, by the way, I've actually seen this guy, the shopkeep, in the fray, too. Only once, though. So, he is, he is a tower you can unlock. How? I have no clue. Maybe it's a code. Expired. That was worth a shot. Anyway, there's still two more I need to finish. Mashko Valley in Sky Island. This guy's playing his Doflamingo. Too bad you can't use devil fruit powers in this game. Or can you? Eh. It just looks like a regular shotgun. And it's a good thing Gofi here had a turret. Too bad it only lasts for 20 seconds. As I was saying. to place something down.
With that, my army begins. Why are their heads cockeyed to the cock to the side? Oh! It looks like Bacon Eater had the same idea. how it works. Any tower placed on one of those stones gets teleported across all across the top all across the garden. He didn't place down a tower. I just clicked on it. And he teleported. God damn it, now I feel like a proper fool. another one of the units, a knifer. He uses both a gun and his knife. Anything gets close to him, he'll stab it. Anything gets far away from him, he'll shoot it. But he seems to have good reflexes as he's able to knife every single one of those uh, runners. Alright, let's increase the max spawn and get some more health. Spawn time it takes for a single person is 30 seconds. So that means I'll have three in a minute and a half. Of course, it takes them a long time to walk to the front, meaning the old one will die before the first, before it gets to the first. Also, an attack drone, too. God damn it. Thank you. 
from what it looks like here, there should be multiple stones for the teleporter. And yet, I don't see any other of the s any more of the stones. I see blue, purple, and red. Meaning, you could teleport a maximum of three towers. Now to do what I should have done in the first place. What the? Hmm. I wonder. Apparently Fortnite is updated as well. Speaking of, I'm actually playing Lego Fortnite right now, and I've got a pretty good base set up. In fact, I've got multiple bases set up. One in each biome. <laughs> Now they're coming every 10 seconds. That means it'll only take me 20 seconds. That means it'll only take me 40 seconds. 40 seconds just to get a full platoon up to the front. Oh, damn it. I didn't mean to upgrade, upgrade their strength yet. Now we're fighting the slasher. He is cutting through my units quite quickly. Ah, but here come the battle battle ready units. And in greater numbers. 
Another three hundred plus seven dollars daily. <laughs> and now I'm going to buy my second new unit, the Trader. Now I'm not exactly sure how he works, but given the description, it says you could sell him for a very high price. And it says he also has three points of camo detection, so I guess he's good against camo. And a fair 1.2 fire rate. In fact, I want to do something real quick, just to see. I will place him for the new for this round. Go for the last, last map I need to do, and that would be the Sky Island. Recruit map. Sky Island. Just as cheap as the as the uh, new. But his range is like the new upgraded to level two. Direct percentage. What? Wait, where's the jack?
I don't know what he does. I mean, it says value and direct percentage, as well as the damage increase, but other than that, it's not very straightforward. Thankfully, those things spawn endlessly until the end of the patch. Alfred, the gems are in his hat. How could I have not noticed that? Flamethrower and <sighs> and the assault rifle minion or tactical rifle minion firing away, they'll be able to take care of the board in no time. But you know what makes it better? They're also contributing to how much I earn. Speaking of, the group, my group, Dome Tower Defense, capital D dot, capital O dot, capital E dot, capital M, Tycoon Defense, during beta will not have a, will not have any game passes 
but it will have a badge telling for those who participated in the beta test. Higher sights. God damn it, that boss just rushed through my entire platoon. I don't know if this is normal, but my wrist keeps popping every time I hit I pull the trigger. <laughs> eh. I'm going to the doctor in May. Ow. Looks like we're coming on the last five minutes, ladies and gentlemen, so I'm going to say this. Thank you all for watching. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more Pixel Tower Defense and for the Dome Tower Defense Project. Though that will be that will not be the final name. We and speaking for the team behind the pro the project, which is currently only me, Chris, and my friend Cam Man twenty twenty one. We look forward to any input you have to give us, and we will try to implement as much as possible. And, like I said at the beginning, we are also looking for people to help us with the coding and modeling.
Oh, and before we, before I, before we end the video in three, two, two more minutes, I would like to say that I recently ordered some Dragon Shield deck shells. I have their black double shell, which can hold up to 150 cards, as well as two as well as two single shells that can hold a hundred cards. God damn it. Unfortunately, you will not be able to sit in for this match, but... For the final minute, let me just say again, thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe to this video. And please join the group on Roblox and Discord same name for now and please don't hesitate to give us any ideas you want implemented into the game we will try hard to implement as much as we can in the beta and in future updates once the game is is released Yeah. Well, nope. five, four, Orkshef Cooper signing out.